$557. That's how much the last service cost. Hey guys, Hollywood, keep it dirty off-road. Today I'm gonna to give you guys an update on what happened to the steering system in my truck. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified of all the videos. We release videos weekly and we cover everything from going off-road, exploring adventures, and working on our trucks and our cars. All right, so you guys saw my video a couple weeks ago. My steering went out on the Raptor and it happened after a bunch of Christmas lights on the dash, all kinds of error messages from ABS sensors to steering sensors to just the collision sensors, basically all the nannies, all the traction control, everything was disabled in the truck. And then about a day later, the steering completely got disabled. Now from talking to the dealer, they initially told me that the problem was a sensor on the steering wheel, which I was a little, you know, I was a little surprised, but I was also surprised to find out that the trucks got an electronic steering. I know it had electronic assist, didn't know it had electronic steering. At the same time too, she went in for some other uh, issues too. Uh, it was 60,000 mile service, so she needed oil change. She needed an alignment because I knocked one of the bolts loose. And uh, we also wanted to get this noise checked out. She's been making this high pitched noise for quite a while. And I kind of had an inkling that it was fully and the dealer confirmed it. Now, as to what caused the issue, let me show you. See this brand new line back here? And yes, I'm in the back of the truck right now. That's the new line. That line right there goes to a speed sensor on the hub. That right there, the ABS speed sensor on the rear axle caused my power steering to die. Kind of surprising, right? How could a speed sensor in the back of the truck disable the steering of the truck? It makes no sense, but let me show you the paperwork. Here it is in the paperwork. That part number right there. See that part number? That part number right there is for an ABS speed sensor. So yes, that was the fault that caused my whole dash to go Christmas lights and for the steering to be completely disabled a day or two later. It, it's kind of surprising. It's kind of shocking actually when you think about it. Now, I've had Christmas lights set up before. It happened after I did the lawn dart in the Mojave. I basically destroyed the collision sensor up front, got Christmas lights, lost ABS, steering got a little hard, but I didn't lose steering. This time, I'm just blown away. How could an ABS speed sensor disable steering? In doing a little bit of research, basically the ABS system, the collision system, the steering system, which also controls all the drive modes and everything, they're all interconnected. They're all highly integrated. If the truck can't get a reading correctly from a tire, it can't enable traction control, which in turn, it can't help with uh, uh, ABS system, right? So it can't do the ABS system, it can't stop correctly. So all those systems tend to work, uh, you know, very tightly together and it eventually snowballs to where you can get into my situation where the truck's not getting what it needs and it completely disabled the steering. The steering just stopped working. It's kind of scary to think that if your dash goes Christmas lights, you could lose your steering. I mean, come on, it's not even the same system. I shouldn't lose my steering if my ABS sensor goes up. The steering issue, which was really the ABS issue, was completely taken care of by warranty. So that was taken care of. Only had to pay a hundred dollar deductible, which wasn't too bad. The uh, noise that was coming from the truck, that was ended up being an idler pulley and the belt. So both the idler pulley and the belt had to be replaced. And if you ever see me inside of this truck, it is a pain in the ass to get in there. There's so many lines going through the front of the engine that there's no way to really do it from the top. And with the skid plates and everything from underneath, it's just pain in the ass to do it from underneath. So that got all taken care of. I didn't want to do it this time. I, the temperatures have been over 100 degrees, so there was no way I was going to do it. I know it's not what most of you want to hear, that there is a defect with the Raptor. You know, something like that can happen. But, you know, I, I want to be honest with the what happens on my truck. So you'll see me post a lot of these issues on my Instagram page, and we're going to start doing it here on the YouTube page. So if we have any issues on the trails, I beat my truck up very, very regularly. So if there's an issue with the truck, I'm going to find it. That being said, this Raptor is by far 
the most reliable truck I've ever had, especially when you consider the abuse I put on it. It's got about 60,000 miles on it. The majority of those miles are on dirt or getting to dirt. I work from home. So this truck only goes to play and that's it. That's its only purpose. And considering how much abuse I give to my truck, it's kind of surprising that I've had so few issues. So on a future video, we're gonna do a quick write up where we're gonna go through my service record and show you guys all the issues that I've had with my truck. You'll see they're rel relatively minor and just kind of get you guys educated on the Raptor. I mean, you get a lot of people out there that tend to freak out, you know, especially with the cam phaser thing. That's what everybody keeps talking about right now, cam phaser, cam phaser. But this EcoBoost engine, it is a very reliable engine. And for the most part, it works great. The only time I've seen it have problems is when people start modifying it. When you start adding catch cans, replacing the, uh, the intercoolers, when you start changing a lot of those stock components, that's when the engine starts having problems. So just keep that in mind. All right guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one.